Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I'm here with this, the Mercury Cougar as a drift spec build, hopefully. For this video, this is what I'm going to end up trying to do with this car, is try to build it as a drift car. So, I've already had a build on the channel before with the Cougar uh, as a race build. I honestly don't remember if it went up to level 399 or not before. Either way, I wanted to just go ahead and sort of rebuild it again as a drift car because someone has suggested it. So I thought, you know, what, I'd take you up on your offer. I'll give it a shot. Apparently, it sounds like a machine gun whenever it hits the limiter and the backfires. So that's going to be kind of fun to test out. And also, I think like this is such a, an interesting car, like in my opinion. I never see these on the road ever. I don't think there's any of them in Ireland at the moment. Uh, no Cougars at all. There are obviously the newer one, the Ford Cougar. Which I'm pretty sure that in America it's still called the Mercury Cougar. Anyway, uh, the European one, which is like the Ford Cougar. You see those around every now and then. Very, very rare still. But uh, these, you definitely don't see any old school American cars in, in Ireland. So they're really, really cool when I get a chance to sort of look at these type of cars. Especially like something like this. Like I, I'd see like a Dodge Charger or a Mustang or whatever every now and then in Ireland. Because they're very common cars. Um, like very sought after cars i should say but this isn't really like it doesn't look like it right like not a lot of people would know what this thing is if it drove down the road uh but it's such an interesting car especially with the type of taillights and headlight design including the grill itself like it's just it's a really really interesting design i've always loved this car just the way it looks so uh yeah now for this video i'm gonna go ahead and change it a little bit because we're turning this thing into a drift car so We'll see options on top of options that we can possibly change on this car to make it look a little bit more aggressive, I guess. There's not really a lot of stuff that looks like we can change on it. I mean, the little chrome bits and pieces there are something that we could change. We could do something like this. I mean, I feel like it'll completely ruin it if I do it. But, I mean, the other Mercury Cougar that I ended up building was actually very, very nice looking. So, you know what? This one, I'm not going to be like, I'm going to ruin this one. Because I'm not going to ruin it. I'm just still going to go ahead and actually have some modifications done to it. I want this thing to be lower. See, like, I, like this is probably, like, the only... So I don't know what to choose for this thing. Because there's no actual parts. Like, what are these square fenders? I don't know I'm, I don't know how it suits this. Like, I, I, no. Wide body just doesn't suit this car at all. So, I'm not going to add it on. I'm not going to completely ruin it just for the sake of... Of adding stuff on. I will, however, add a skirt all the way around. It, it kind of reminds me of a of a Japanese car having the, the crazy, crazy skirts all the way around. Um, I will get rid of the chrome on the rear, and it just makes it look a little bit more different. And for the diffuser at the rear, right? I can't really change much. I wish you could change the rear rear bumper so I could actually match it and have like an actual skirt on the rear end. But apparently, I can't do that. So that is that's not fun. That is that is no fun at all. Do I want to add a wing over this thing? I don't know if I do, to be honest. I kind of like it without the wing. It doesn't look very good if I do end up slapping a massive massive wing on it. What are these taillights? So what, did it just go slightly darker? And then we have this big... Sure, let's do it. Terminator, sorry. Why do I call it a Terminator? Robocop style taillight. That's that's mad looking. That is crazy looking. All right, well, I'll keep, I'll keep that just because it looks slightly different, I guess. And then for the exhaust, let's have a look here. Why can't we change to like a single pipe? How cool would that be? Just having single pipe exhaust. I kind of don't mind the like exhausts that are just pointed down in this. I really don't at all. But I think the normal ones that just like point slightly outwards. Uh, these was a point upwards. I actually don't look that bad either. They look like just your normal like three inch, but they just point upwards. I don't know how I feel about this now. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like it should be a little bit. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put them on there on the fenders. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't do stuff like this to, to this type of car. But again, I'm turning this thing into a drift car, so it's going to be... I definitely don't want to keep it stock. Even though, like, I probably wouldn't do... Well, I definitely wouldn't do anything like this to, to an actual car in real life. The only thing now is actually trying to find a good set of wheels for this thing. So, I will be right back. Actually, there's also 3 SDM wheels that I kind of like for this. Like this one, for example, I think it suits it. There are some, yeah, I kind of like some of these wheels for it. I think they suit it quite a lot. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. I'll try to find a set of wheels and uh, I'll put them on. I'm sorry, but how good do the, is the, like, the actual fitment on this car? It's already, it's already tucking just the perfect amount. How good is the fitment on this car? Why can't all cars be like this in this game? 
I might just get rid of the all the skirts around it. It just looks so good. I'm getting rid of the skirts around this thing. It just doesn't need it. It honestly just looks really, really good. Wait, what's the original one? It looks like that, and then this one just doesn't have that bit. You know what? I'll keep the original skirts on this thing. How good does this look? The fitment on it just fits perfect. Like, everything just looks really, really good now. I feel like it doesn't really look that different compared to the other one that I ended up building, even though there's not really a lot of customization options for this thing. But how good? With those wheels and everything, obviously I can't lower this car anymore. I could add a little bit more camera to the rear and the front wheels. Since I'm modernizing this thing, um, I am actually down to do something like this. So this was the previous design, which is pretty much just like a Russell type of design. For it, it honestly suits it so well. I'm not going to add it again, though. We'll choose something different. We'll choose something that's a little bit more modern, I guess, and a little bit nicer looking. Um, something like this would be kind of nice. Just a matte color for this. I think it would suit this car very, very well, in my opinion. Oh, my God. This looks so good. I'm not going to... I don't think I want to add any crazy, crazy designs onto this thing. What does this blue look like? This, the fitment on this car is so good. So, so good. I'm adding bags to it as well. It's just, just going to make it even more interesting. I'm putting this blue on. The blue looks really, really good. And it's very minimalistic with all the different, like, designs all over it. Because obviously there isn't any. Damn, that looks really good. So, I am definitely putting bags on this car right now. We'll see how much lower we can actually get it to go. And I think that's pretty much it for our design for this thing, because there's not really anything else that I kind of want to change on it. It really isn't. I mean, I like the way this looks, just the way it is. Even the color for the wheels and everything, I don't really want to change anything. Man, that looks so good. Like, I just want the fitment for all the cars just to be like this. Or to be able to make them so they look like this. That looks so good. So, so good. All right, well... I guess that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and bring it out and drive it and see if it's any good as a drift car. Because, I mean, that's the whole purpose of this, is to try and build it as a drift spec car. So, uh, the fit with and all that, obviously, is going to make it look good. But, I mean, is it a good car to drive? That is that is a very important question because, again, that's what I'm building the car for. I'm not building it just so it can look good. Even though that's kind of a, a big deal. Anyway, I definitely want to lower it. So, let's go find a good place. We'll teleport to this gas station here, since we're going to go to that vent anyway. The gas station will have lights, so I can see how low it actually goes once I turn off the engine. And it ends up going a little bit lower. Hopefully a lot lower. I want to see if it tucks in nicely on the front as well. Because the front just sticks out just a little bit too much, which I'm perfectly fine with, by the way. Because it just makes it look good. Alright, so we'll stop here. Let's have a look. So it's kind of nice, right? It looks it looks decent. Oh, 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 oh my god, that looks so good. There's no clipping. Wait, is there clipping at all in the front end? No. There's no clipping. It just perfectly tucks in and the rear end is just godlike. Look at that. That looks f <laughs> brilliant. That looks really, really good. This is probably the best... The best fitment on any car in this game. 100%. I think if I, like, got rid of the camera a little bit. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of, like, stanced out cars and stuff like that. But some of them look really, really good. And I can't deny that. And uh, this, as well, is one of those cars. Especially in this game. Look how good that looks, man. And it raises up the perfect... I, I like it. I like it so much. Well... Let's go ahead and actually drive it, because, again, that's kind of important for this thing, so. Let's see how many points I can squeeze out with this thing. I haven't actually properly driven this yet. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'm still in manual, because I've been driving something in manual around that I ended up building very recently. So, I'll probably go ahead and show you guys that in a different video. But, yeah, let's see if this thing needs manual or automatic. I think I'm going to stick to manual, because usually a lot of these older cars that don't really have a lot of... A lot of RPM to go through. I immediately start to sweat at this, by the way. I just realized. So not fifth gear, so keep it in fourth then. I immediately started doing the sweaty run for this event as well. <laughs> That's just funny. I had to start again. I completely ruined my run. By thinking I was supposed to be doing the try hard run. So this is like fifth gear. Fourth gear goes up. Alright. 
Oh no, I can stretch for gear out. I can definitely stretch for gear out. So it's not bad. Again, this is a, a normal run. I'm not sort of gonna go off the road too much here. Just gonna try to stick to the road itself. Try to see if this is any good. It handles well. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's just there's no reason for this car. Or there's no there's no way this car handles badly. It's not. It feels good to drive. I've I've no complaints about it. It doesn't seem to like getting as many points as some of the other big big boy cars in this game, pretty much. But handling wise, I definitely won't consider this one of the bad cars in this game. Hundred percent. Again, it doesn't seem like it wants to get as many points as some of the other cars. You know, like some of the some of the big cars in this game. But like, I don't really know what sort of complaint I have about it. I don't really have any. I feel like fourth gear should be a little bit longer. I guess that's pretty much it. But if I change to fifth gear, so I could keep it in fifth. But it takes a little bit of effort to try to get it to slide in fifth gear. 1.3 million points. It's not terrible. It's a it's a decent car. I gotta try to do a sweaty run as well. I just want to see if it's if it's any good at those. Um, but yeah, it doesn't like to collect. Well, it's not that it doesn't like it. It just it doesn't feel like it likes to collect as many points as some of the other cars. Even though I'm sticking to the the fourth multiplier and all that sort of stuff. So even though I'm doing everything right, it just doesn't feel like it gets as many points as some of the other uh, some of the other cars. Something like the Buick GNX, the Lamborghini Huracan. RX-7 stuff like that. It doesn't. It doesn't get the points just does the same way as as those cars do. Fourth car. Fourth car. Wow. Fourth gear on this car is like what third gear is for the Buick GNX. If I want to compare it to that, you could extend it, but it feels too short. And fifth gear just doesn't like it. Fifth gear just doesn't seem natural for this car. You can hear it dropping in revs way too much. Only when I'm at like proper proper speeds, I think fifth gear is is actually very useful for this thing, but like you can see that it's not doing well. I'm gonna try just fourth gear for this this whole run here. Maybe automatic is the way to go for this guy. I don't know. Maybe it'll change from fourth to fifth like all the time whenever I'm in slides. Or maybe it'll do it in the middle of a slide. Which way if, if I do it in the middle of a slide, it's not gonna go well. It's legit just going to bog down if I change from fourth to fifth in the middle of a slide. I've done it. I hit it. It just bogged down and wouldn't go anywhere. Nah, fourth gear seems to be the the right gear for this thing. It just it's just I don't know. It's it's not long enough. It needs to be a little bit longer. Then I can accept fourth gear for this guy. If it's just a tiny, tiny bit longer. Handling wise, I think it's it's very good. I honestly have no bad things to say about the handling this thing. It transitions. Woo! That was that was my fault. I let that go in for so long. I let the car literally just slide for way too long before I decided to transition and then I did it at the very, very last second. That was that was my fault. Um I'd be a little bit to squeeze out 2 million points with this car if I do attempt it properly. I don't think so. I don't think this is one of those cars that can do 2 million points on this run. Uh, it could probably do it if I sweat it out a lot and I keep trying more and more and more and more. I will eventually get 2 million points, but it's not one of those cars where you can efficiently just get 2 million points all the time. Again, it just doesn't feel like it, li like it gets those type of points very quickly like that, like some of the other cars. I don't know why though. Because it actually does seem to drive really, really well. I like it a lot. I like the way it drives very, very much. Well, 
that's pretty much it. This was the Mercury Cougar. Someone has suggested I should try and build this thing as a drift spec. So this is it. This is the car as a drift spec. I really, really like the way this looks. The fitment on it, again, I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the fitment on it looks great. I think the car looks really nice, sort of modernized like this with the um, three SDM wheels and the LED taillights and stuff like that and the massive exhaust. I, I think it just looks good. Even the color just makes it look really, really nice as well. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Now, if there's any specific builds you guys want to see on the channel, please feel free to tell me down in the comments below. But uh, keep this in mind, I have been actually doing builds on this game for a long, long time. So if, uh, if there is a build that I don't do, or at least before you do comment, go on my YouTube channel and check out if I've done the build that you guys want to request. So you don't comment the build that I've already done in the past. So uh, if you guys want to see any specific builds on the channel, again, comment them down below, but make sure that I haven't actually done them yet. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's it from me. I will definitely go ahead and continue playing this game. As long as it keeps me entertained, as long as it keeps you guys entertained, I will definitely play this game. And this is going to be the thumbnail for our video. The Easily the car with the best fitment in this, in this game, in my opinion. I, I, I think it is. I've played with pretty much all the cars uh, in the game. I've lowered all of them. I've had like good fitment on, on some of them. The BRZ goes really, really, really low. The M4, I think, goes really, really low as well. But this thing is on another level. I think this is probably my favorite car. Just stands out just the way this, it, it looks like this. I think it's, it's really, really pretty. Well, again, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.